Hey everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Bentley, episode number 21. <laughs> Picking up right where I left off last episode, just finished up the ranch house for our Lon Lon Ranch inspired build out there, and it is looking nice. I just, I, I cannot get over how well this just looks just looking this way. I am going to do something about this garage door, this, this gate here, I promise you guys. Uh, I just haven't figured out what I want to do just quite yet, but it, it really does bring me back. Every time I just stand here and just walk up this area, it really does kind of bring me back to Ocarina of Time. Um, the, the build here, maybe not so much, but I feel like it's it's just kind of what I feel, and I really like it so far. So we got Malin inside, and she's just kind of keeping over watch of the whole ranch house here in the meantime. I guess her dad's out making milk deliveries and probably sleeping on the job like he was before. Uh, the horses outside probably should rename one of them Ipana just for <laughs> the sake of renaming one. Um, but we do have Ipana's song now, which is really nice, but I really don't feel the need of uh, having to travel around with a horse anymore just because we do have our Pegasus boots and our Deku leaf. It gets us around so much faster. But for today, guys, I got plans. That's right, I've got us in store for us right there. Can you tell what that would be? That's going to be the water temple that's right and with that I actually want to do a little bit more enchanting on my headpiece and there's a good reason for that actually let's get ourselves maybe a good 30 levels of experience and should be more than enough and let's see what else we can add to our helmet here um, I'm thinking maybe some respiration some aqua affinity is there anything else we really want I know unstable adds the explosion effects to it um, I don't know if that I think you have to have gunpowder in your inventory for that to work. Um, there's also Last Stand, which will drain your XP instead of, like, if you're down to, like, half a heart or really low on health, it'll start draining your XP instead of killing you, so that's really nice to have as well. Uh, Thorns kind of just takes more damage than what it's worth, so I think maybe just a little bit more Unbreaking wouldn't be a bad idea. So Unbreaking 2 brings us up to Enchanting Cost of 32. That's fine for me for now. Um, what's our repair cost? Holy cow, it's getting expensive. <laughs> I really feel like it was cheaper back in the day, but <laughs> that's just me. Um, I do want to talk to Barnes, though. He has some bombs that might be for sale. Let's talk to Barnes. Barnes, what's going on? Welcome back to my Bountiful Bomb Shop. Please take a look. Oh, you don't... Oh, you're just selling that, too. You don't, yeah. Well, Barnes, um, I think there's a way for you to start selling what I'm looking for, and what I'm looking for is actually a water bomb. <laughs> I know it sounds counterproductive, but I promise you guys that is exactly what I'm looking for. So with that, let's see. I think what we're going to need is a fish. So I'm going to make me a... What the heck was that? A wooden spear. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a good old fishing rod. We're going to go fishing real quick as well. Honestly, guys, we only really need one fish. So let's see what we can catch. Hopefully not a squid. Fishing, fishing, fishing. We could add some enchantments on this, but I feel like it's just kind of a waste. We really only need one fish, so are the fishies biting today? Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy. Take the bobber. Take the bait. Where are you, fishes? Do not make me come in there after you. I will. I have a boomerang and other stuff, cool gadgets and such. Oh, come on, fish. Come on! I have a water temple to conquer today. Seriously, if I knew... <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, 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 oh. As, right as I was about to say, fishing's a waiting game. Piggy, you're not allowed to come out. Go back inside the castle gate. <laughs> you're not allowed to be outside, Pikachu. All right, so let's see. I believe if we give you this... Do you, do you not like fish? Hmm, now, if I... And then it should work underwater, right? <laughs> Oh, well, I hope so, uh, good sir. Uh, well, 12 emeralds for one water bomb. That's really not that good. That's really not that great. I'm trying to make fireproof bombs, but I'm missing something. Um, I know sometimes Gorons sell, like, uh, better bombs. Well, obviously, like, bomb flowers and such, but in this case, it looks like we are... Oh, oh, well, yeah, 16. I think Barnes has got the cheaper deal over here. I don't like spending all my rupees. All right, Barnes. If you don't mind giving us some of your water bombs, I do not mind taking them. Do you have anything else for sale? 
I don't know if you're gonna like wind up getting anything else or anything more special than that, but if you do, let me know. That would be wonderful. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and get one more water bomb from him, and then we're gonna head out. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna have in store for us today. In fact, I think I need another. Yeah, that one would be fine. We'll use this one for now. That'll hold our water bombs. Oh, oh, we can only hold five in this one. Oh, really? What's in this one? I think this one's just got regular bombs inside of it. Yeah, I think so. Yep. I wonder if I can empty that. I don't know if there's a way that I could actually empty it. Actually, you know what? Probably could. Thanks to the help of our vacuum hopper here. So if I just toss this down. And maybe if we just do that. Oh, nope. <laughs> it's like pulling bombs out of the... Oh, wait, no, it's actually pulling it out of this one. Uh, so the plan here is we're going to drop it. And we're going to empty that bag. So that now we can combine these two together. Now we can actually hold more in this. So there we go. That'll work. All right, guys, let's head out. I need to get rid of the fishing bowl. Probably going to sleep through the night real quick. Um, but I'm going to show you guys exactly where we're heading out to. So here we are. Our water temple. This is actually not too far away from... Actually, I say I always say that. It's really not that bad. It's I would have to say this is probably one of the closest ones that I found um, here. Uh, the, zoom in. Come on, little... There we go. So there's our water temple. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad, not too far away. Now we need to just find some secret rooms. So that's what I'm going to work on real quick. We need to find some secret rooms out in, I want to say like an ocean biome. And we should be able to see just fine now that we have our uh, respiration. We'll, we'll be able to breathe underwater and see just fine with our aqua affinity and uh, respiration now. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to see too much. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of... Go around a little bit, try to mark off some rooms, and we'll be back in just a minute. Hopefully when we... Ooh. <gasps> I think we found one already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this... Yeah. <laughs> we already found one. All right. Water bomb, do your thing. Squid, don't you dare touch that. Don't need you messing up my stuffs. Ooh, a locked chest. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get us some keys out and see what's inside. Oh. <laughs> That is so perfect. Oh, that is a nice chest, even. All right, we are running out of air. For one, let's grab some more air. There we go. That is so perfect. Water temple key. Just first chest. So perfect. Golden apple, some extra bombs, a little bit of gold. So that's not too bad. I actually wouldn't mind trying to find a few more of these before we actually head in there, just because I was kind of hoping for a few more. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to go find a few more of these... Uh, actual secret rooms underwater real quick and we'll be back in just a minute after I get them all marked and uh, we'll check them out. All right guys and we're back. I think I just found the mother load. They are everywhere down here. They're so much easier to see now too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pick a few I think and open them up and see what's inside. Let's see, uh, let's get our bombs out. I actually did mark a few more already as well but I figured these, there's quite a few out here. Let's just have some fun. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully, this does not mess up because I don't have that many water bombs. Ooh, what do we got? A locked chest? Yeah, <laughs> nothing for me. Um, oh, just some fire arrows. Well, that's just not that great. Ooh, a red potion, I'll take that. And an Ordon sword. You know what, I usually find broken ones of those. I'll go ahead and pick it up just for the sake of having one. All right, let's see what's in this one. This one, uh, harvestable, good. I need to make sure I'm checking those as well. Making sure it's harvestable before I start using my bonds on there. Otherwise, it might, might be a bad thing. I'm so happy those will actually work. All right, what do we got? A Deku shield, a potion, some more bombs. Really nothing of crazy importance. Eh, kind of hoping for some more stuff. Some really cool, like, more gadgets and stuff, like a... Maybe a bow, possibly. That would be wonderful. All right, how many more bombs do we have left? I'm going to go ahead and probably just use them up. I think we got two more left. All right, that's not a bad thing. All right, and a fish. Potion of water breathing. You know what? That might actually come in handy. I'll go ahead and hold on to that. 
I have no idea what that water temple entails, so I might just possibly need that. How about you? Harvestable. All right, one more bomb to go after this. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get some more water bombs. I don't know if there's like an easy way of doing it or not. Ooh, I guess that's one way of doing it. <laughs> Finding them in chests. Oh, that's really nice. I might be able to open up some more in that, if that's the case. The broken Ordon sword, not worried about. So, just gonna leave that there for now. Let's see, is there anything else going on around here? I'm probably missing a few out there. But I'm not gonna worry too much about it at the moment. Oop, there's one over there. All right, this one is harvestable as well. Come on, good stuff. I don't think the bomb actually, oh, okay, take that back, it does hurt. <laughs> Hurts a little bit, whoa! We got a double chester. Two keys for you, my friend. A bomb, some rupees, another Ordon sword, which I'm not worried about. Oh, a Kokiri tunic, and another heart piece, so sweet. Ooh, another Helian shield. Nice. Ooh, a Zora hat. Yeah, not, not too bad. Some uh, pretty decent finds. Not like the best in the world, but you know what? I'm actually pretty happy with that. Got my rupees building slowly but surely ever back up. Uh, Can I, can I have my uh, torches back, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. Get me out of here. I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these other ones that I uh, did find over here real quick. Because you never know what's inside of these things. There's one right here. I kind of marked them with dirt. <laughs> there's three. There's there's one here. There's one right there. You might barely be able to see it. And there's a little bit of dirt right there as well. So I think this is a small one. Hopefully that works. This is a little fella. Hopefully, hopefully this guy might yield more than just his... Yeah, yeah I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Unfortunately, all right, we're gonna have to pick between these two. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo situation here. There's a little guy right there, and there's a nice one right here. I think we're gonna go with this one. I know I didn't eeny, meeny, miny, mo, did I? Also, I believe the uh, Zora hat and stuff, I believe this stuff's actually, if you have like that full ensemble of that, I think it does kind of help towards um, having underwater respiration and stuff like that, so. All right, here comes bomb. Here comes our last water bomb. Wish us luck, water bomb. Well, actually, you won't have to. You're gonna be gone in just literally a second. Oh, great, there's Nocturok. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> easy enough. Oh, another heart container. Not bad, I don't mind. We're almost up to another uh, full heart piece, which is awesome. So guys, there goes our final secret room. I could head back to Barnes's place real quick, I guess, and see about getting that opened up. Or, you know, we could just kind of, uh, where's that at anyway? I could probably get inside of here easily enough. I believe if we go maybe this way, if we go down and then say for instance, like block this off maybe? Places a torch so we can see. <laughs> well, maybe we will get inside of this one after all. All right, let's open this guy up. Let's toss some of the stuff away. Uh, I am gonna have to head back and clean up my inventory, it looks like, because uh, my inventory is getting a little ridiculous at the moment. Wishing me luck. Seriously. <laughs> Did that actually work? Um, no, that actually did not work. Well, drat! Darn it! Alright, let me close this off real quick. I think we might be able to get another shot at this. If I can get this all closed up properly. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. Let's seal this up a little bit better, shall we? Alright, so there's our secret stone. Oh, this looks awkward. It looks like it blew it up, but it didn't blow up the whole thing. I guess I guess it can actually do that. I didn't I didn't know it could do that. Alright, one more time. Alright, bomb. Help us out here. Nice. And two keys and a potion. Nothing too extravagant. Alright guys, I'm gonna clean up my inventory, head back real quick, and I'll be back in just a minute when we're ready to fight and see what's inside of that water temple. We'll be back in just a minute.
Alright guys, and we're back. I wouldn't met you guys back at the water temple, but I was over here cleaning up my inventory and I actually, uh, I heard a noise. It sounded like something special dropped in the, uh, the mob farm over there, so I'm gonna go check that out real quick. I also want to point it out that I actually did have another heart piece, so... That means we have ourselves yet another art container! Yes! Canister level 8. Alright, blazes. Sounded like I picked up one of the, uh, pieces of power in there as well. All right, ooh, ooh, that's nice. We got ourselves two skill orbs, a basic technique, plus a skill orb of spin attack, yes! Possibly one of my favorites. I say my favorites, it's like, oh man, I remember this from um, <laughs> Ocarina of Time, but I'm gonna go ahead and take these, level five and six. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything special going on there. A uh, range of 12 blocks, that's pretty nice. Max combo size of eight. Time limit of 32 ticks, and that looks pretty good. Consecutive strikes while uh, locked on, built upon each other to form a combo. Strike becoming the combo ends. I think think that uh, nothing else has uh, really changed on that guy. So let's go ahead and check out this one. Spin attack level one. Where are you at? There we are. Charge time, 18 ticks. Range three and a half blocks. Maximum spins one, and Activation. While locked on, hold left or right to charge up. If using vanilla keys, both must be pressed and held. Uh, first one, then the other, with the first key pressed determining the direction of the spin. Okay, so I'm not going to take it out on the sheep, but let's try it out. Um, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. On. Maybe? Are we gonna do it? No. Maybe you right click and left click. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. I'm not really sure how to uh, use that one yet. While locked on, hold left or right to charge up. If using vanilla keys, both must be pressed and held. First one, then the other. With the first key press determining the direction of the spin. Hmm. So first left and then right click. Uh, one, two, three, go. Uh, one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. All right, I, f I feel like I look like a weirdo trying to <laughs> do this. I don't know, maybe I need to be a little bit closer, but I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's one of my favorite moves, but I have no clue how to use it. So I'm going to... Have to probably try it out a little bit later on. So we do have ourselves all stocked up, ready to go to fight ourselves our water dungeon. Our water temple here, actually. And let's see what entails us on the inside. So we got our Ocarina of Time. Uh, probably might not be a bad idea just to use the Crystal Wing, just in case we need to get out of there quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm also going to go ahead and equip my actual good boots for protection purposes. We'll put our Pegasus boots in our backpack for the time being. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have our potions. We're going to need to open up the door. Leave the golden apple there. I think for the most part, we're pretty much good to go. Might need the uh, potion of uh, breathe, water breathing as well. I think our entrance is on the other side. Hopefully this does not end in a horrible tra tragedy. Ooh. And if we do finish... Probably in enough time, we might see if we go tackle another um, Earth Temple. We've got another key for that. Alright. Here we go. Are we ready? <sighs> Looks like there's all water inside. I'm probably going to need the water breathing one. Toss that aside. Alright, guys, here we go. What do we have? An Octorok? Multiple Octoroks. Alright. I don't like these guys already. I don't like these guys one bit. They're shooting bombs at me. All right, take a golden apple. All right. Yeah, there's a couple of these guys in here. This doesn't seem too bad. Ugh. Can we shoot our bows underwater? <laughs> I think we can. Oh, this is painful. This is very painful. Ugh. It's so hard to maneuver down here. It doesn't seem that bad. If, uh, ooh. 
It wouldn't be so bad if I could actually move around a bit faster in here. I feel like my sword's gonna be doing the most damage here. Oh, let's lock on to him as well. Oh, nice. I feel like we're doing some damage. More damage. Ooh, wait, that dropped something? I feel like that dropped something. What did it? Rising Cut. Oh, nice. We can get like level two version of that now. All right, let's get him. I feel like the locking on thing is probably a lot better to do here. I nearly forgot about it. All right, I think we got one more left. And... Virtuous Hero. Check it out. Look at all the experience. And we're Rising Cut level two. Well, that didn't take long at all, actually. But I will be more than happy to take all of your experience. And the Warp Stone. Really was not bad in here. I do like having all the experience, so yes, check it out, guys. We got the Pendant of Wisdom. We only need one more left. A little bit of rupees. We got another key. Ooh, a nice golden apple and a skill orb of Leaping Blow. Let's check that one out. Leaping Blow. Uh, hold back, or I'm sorry, hold block while locked onto a target and jump into the air. Upon landing, you will automatically perform a leaping slash. Okay, that sounds pretty awesome. All right, so we do have some Kokiri trousers. I'm going to go ahead and pick those guys up. We'll put those guys away. Uh, but let's go ahead and get out of here. I think this... <laughs> we do have water breathing, I believe. Yeah. Did I... What is that? Oh, water... <laughs> did I accidentally, like, fill those up? I did not mean to if I did. I greatly apologize on that. Wait, is that what I think it is? Seriously, secret stone sitting right there. I'm sorry, I'm going for it, guys. <laughs> I can't help this. I have an addiction, and I admit it. I'm going for it. Secret stone, secret stone. You are right there. We're going to go down here. That's definitely not something I should be digging with. All right, and then all we got to do is block off up here, like so, and we have air. A little bit, at least. Go ahead and clear us out a little bit of a room here. We'll just get a little bit more back in the uh, area back here. I'll give you guys some light here in just a moment. Give me just a second. And here we go. There's a little bit of light. Secret stone back there. Let's grab us a bomb. There you go. Enjoy. Please don't drown me. Nice. Anything inside? Ooh, their heart piece. Their name tag. You can have that, 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 that. And I'll take the bomb. Thank you guys, sir. Like I said, nothing too great there either, but yeah, we'll go ahead and head our way back to our castle and we'll add this pendant with our others. We have two pendants of power, pendant of wisdom, last but not least, the pendant of courage. Now, where to find that? I'm not sure where we're going to find that one at just yet, but I do need to repair my armor, so everything that we just did, I'll go ahead and uh, use all of that to repair my armor real quick. <laughs> pretty much went through all of it just to do that little bit all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and find out see if i can find um maybe another earth temple for us to tackle real quick because we do have ourselves another earth temple key so i figure we'll go ahead and use that real quick and i'll meet you guys back hopefully with another earth temple fight see what we can find inside and i'll be back in just a minute all right guys and we're back with more secret rooms <laughs> Guys, I told you it's an addiction. I have to do this. This is a thing that must be done. Uh, but we do have an Earth Temple sitting right over there ready for us here in just a moment. Um, wow, you are a sturdy fellow, aren't you? You sure didn't want to break, did you? All right, let's try that one more time. Oh, out of the way. And open says me. Ooh. Is this one of the fairy fountains? I believe it is. All right, cool. Uh, I did find a secret room along the way as well. Uh, it just had a few rupees in it, a diamond, a small key, and another heart piece, which isn't too bad. And it looks like uh, nothing great in this one. Ordon sword, not too fond of. All right, so I believe there's also another guy right here. We're going to pick this fella up. Let's see what's inside of you. I don't know if there's any others around. I might, might see a few. I might be missing them as well, but anything in you? So far, so good. A pot, some bomb arrows, a key, a couple bombs, which don't mind, but 
kind of getting, hmm, kind of getting annoying. Really, really would like to see some more Zelda stuffs, but I haven't been finding like too much of the um, like key items. Um, maybe they're only found in the the boss loot. I think the boss loot actually has a better chance of finding items like that. So, oh, I see you, Gravestone. Let's not ro be grave robbers here. Or let's actually. Anything good in you? No, actually, there's not. Why you have leather on you? I have no clue. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna probably jump over there real quick, unless that's a secret room over there. I told you guys, isn't it? It's an addiction, and it must be fed. But I'm not seeing anything! Alright, let's go fight our boss. We had to fight another dark knight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I say that, Batman comes up to mind. Alright, here we go. Just one quick peek. Is there anything over there? There could be. But we have a fight on our hands. All right, let's get that key out. Let's clean up our inventory. We need a potion of strength. Probably a golden apple would be very helpful. Our temple key open, says me. And we'll go ahead and toss those bombs away for the time being. Let's go ahead and put one of these on our hot bar. Don't know if the splash potion of weakness helped last time, but we'll give it a shot. Why not? And... Hmm... We'll put that there just in case. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, um, sir, sir, I think you spawned in properly. Um, I wonder if I can help him out. I really don't want to win a fight like this. This is just, whoa, 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 don't drop bombs on me. That's kind of rude. Sorry, man. I, I I can't I can't have you w lose like this. I gotta help you out here. Come on, come on, get out of there, man. Come on. Is it sad that? I okay, jeez, man. I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> have a potion of weakness. Enjoy. How well that's gonna help? I have no clue. Is there something shooting at me? Whoa! Don't you blow up my stuff. Ow! Eat it. How you like that, huh? Oh, oh, ow. Pain and hurt. Yeah, I can do that too, see? I have the same ability. Uh oh, oh, oh gosh, that almost killed me. <laughs> I am so happy I have these red potions on me. Ow. Holy cow, man, you are doing some damage. I don't think that potion of weakness does anything on. Actually, hold on a minute. That would be helpful. All right, here you go, buddy. I'm just gonna finish you off here in a minute. Yeah, you ain't gonna do too much damage to me now, are you? Eh. Can't get my shot in on you. You missed, good sir. This is sad. This is so sad. This is pure sadness on his part. <laughs> hey, I tried to help him out. I really did. Ow. Actually, how do we do that? Um, well, Drat, I was trying to figure it out. Let's see, wh which one is it? Don't drop bombs on me. Oh, or you can drop bombs on him. That's cool, too. Leaping blow. Which one is it? Sword beam. There we go. While wielding a weapon and locked on, first crouch by sneaking and then attack. All right. Come on, sword beam, go. Sword, go, sword beam, go. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't need you to attack me like that. Uh oh. I'm I'm stuck in a hole. I'm stuck in a hole. Yeah. Alright. Enough playing around. Time to finish him off. Come on, guy. Uh oh. This might be a little bit of a problem here. Now I'm trying to beat you and you're not helping me. Oh, there's a bomb. Ow. <laughs> My last potion. My last pot eye on. Ow. I wasn't even close to you for that one, man. Eh. Oh, ow. How can you hit me from back there? Oh, oh, that's a bomb. That's a bomb and a half. All right, all right. I know I got some more potions in here. Probably would help if I ate. All right, there we go. 
Yeah, go ahead and miss, sir. Eh. I need to fill in these holes here. Not the most interesting battle, <laughs> to say the least. But we're going to finish him off real quick. I'm going to get some more potions of uh, strength made up a little bit later on, too. There we go. And finished. Wasn't too bad. It was actually probably one of the worst fights I've had with that guy. But at least I got my experience. I'm happy. And we get to reclaim ourselves some loot after we get ourselves level 9 heart container. Check it out. Ooh. We have the skill orb of armor break, level two. Another bomb bag. I'll go ahead and take the bomb bags. Some fire arrows, rupees, another key, another pendant of power, and some light arrows. I'm just saying, that's not actually bad at all. I will take all of that happily. Uh, let's see, what, what else was a bomb bag? Oh yeah, we got his uh, heavy broadsword as well. But the light arrows, that's actually really nice. Have I got any light arrows? Very few, so it's very nice to see us getting a couple of those when we can. And as far as, like, the pendant of power, we already got a couple of those. <laughs> and we need one more heart piece, so that way we can achieve our final... I think that's our final one. We can, I think we can only have ten. Uh, but guys, I think that's going to about do it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.